Good morning. Today we're going to work a related rates problem. I have a, a, a trough has the shape of a wedge shown below. Um, well, actually, that's what the problem says, but it's shown right here. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, water is being poured into the trough at a rate of two cubic feet per minute. At what rate is the depth of the water changing when the depth is one foot? So we weren't really given a whole lot of detail, but I've labeled the picture. Um, the trough is 10 feet by 10 feet by 12 feet and there's water being dumped into it. Uh, so we need to talk about what we're given. And we're given the rate at which water is being dumped into the trough. Um, and this is this water is supposed to be level, by the way. It, you probably know that water is level when you pour it into something. Um, or, well, anyway. Uh, it's being poured in the trough at the rate of two cubic feet per minute. Well, cubic feet, <coughs> excuse me, is a volume. So I'm gonna say what we're given is the rate of the, which the volume is changing and that's two uh, feet cubed uh, per minute, no, per second, sorry. And I think that's all we want, We all, all we have and we wanna find, should have really labeled this and I'm gonna label this, we wanna find uh, the rate at which the depth of the water, well the depth of the water is the height of the water and I'm not using D because it, D, 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 T is kind of weird so um, anyway so we're going to label what's changing well the only thing that's really changing is a lot of things are changing but uh, ooh, that doesn't literally look good but anyway I'm going to label this the depth of the water as H um, the uh, the length of the water or the 12 feet is is not changing but the surface distance of the of the water and the height of the water are changing but notice that uh, that this the, the the legs of this right triangle that form the ends of this trough are equal so that means that as you pour water in here that the height will equal this width. I don't really know what you want to call it. But anyway, so we want to find dH dt when uh, the depth or h equals one foot. So now we need an equation. Well, since we're talking about volume, let's do the, the volume of this uh, trough. Well, the volume of this trough, since it's capped by two triangles, is going to be the length, which is 12, times the area of one of the ends, which is one half base times height. Well, since uh, that's going to actually equal six, and since our base, we've already decided that triangle that's changing is equal to h, we can have v equals 6h squared. And now we have our formula, our equation and we are going to derive implicitly with respect to t. So on this side we get dv dt, on this side we get 12h dh dt. We want to solve for dh dt, so we get dh dt equals dv dt divided by 12h. Uh, really all we need to do is plug in that two cubic feet per minute, or second, sorry, 12 times one is just 12, so we end up getting one sixth, uh, just a little dimensional analysis, I guess, uh, cubic feet per second over uh, feet times feet. We just give us feet per second. Although I generally just cheat when I was in physics and just knew what I needed. So one sixth feet per second is the rate at which uh, H is changing or the depth is changing.